stopping distance. When someone is driving a car and they see an obstacle in the way, they need to stop. The total distance they travel after seeing the obstacle until the car stops is called the stopping distance. Stopping distance is made up of two parts, the thinking distance and the braking distance. The thinking distance is the distance the car travels after the driver sees the obstacle until they hit the brakes. The braking distance is the distance travelled from the moment they hit the brakes until the car comes to a complete stop. So the stopping distance just equals the thinking distance plus the braking distance. We need to know the different factors that will affect the thinking distance and the braking distance and therefore the stopping distance. Let's first look at thinking distance. The thinking distance can be found from the speed of the car times the driver's reaction time. So anything that will increase the reaction time will increase the thinking distance. The best examples to use are if the driver has drunk alcohol, if they are tired and distractions such as being on a mobile phone. All of these will increase the reaction time and so increase the thinking distance. Braking distance is affected by the conditions of the road and the car. So a wet or icy road will increase the braking distance and worn tyres and worn brakes will also increase the braking distance. The speed of the car affects both. If the car is going faster, it will increase the thinking distance and it will increase the braking distance as well. And remember, anything that increases thinking or braking distance will also increase the total stopping distance of the car.